I just noticed this on Instagram, and I would like to compliment you. Nothing for the person who has ever seen. Congratulations. You have received the gift of nothing. Absolutely nothing this is the ultimate in minimalism less is more, more or less. Nothing is precious. Nothing is simple. Nothing is sacred. Open the pack and be enthralled when nothing happens. Allow nothing to flow through your mind and calm your soul. Savor the moment soon you'll discover that nothing is so much better than something. It's okay if you thought you were over it, but it takes you all over again. It's okay to fall apart even if you thought you had it under control. You're not weak. Healing is messy. And there's no timeline for healing. Person Mr. Good Heart puts up with way too much asterisk 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 asterisk. My Saturday was going pretty well until I realized it was Sunday. She did not let go of people quickly. Instead, she gave too many chances. And carried others' darkness as her own. And then one day she woke up and was done. It was over just like that. Ode to you all. I am out of respect for those that dared to open their heart and soul. Cry out loud, my friend, for the pain inside will kill you, but the screech as loud as you can is the start of the healing. You so desperately long for. Nothing can stop you now. Br'er Caleb, PhD. Tough times never last, tough people do. The pen name is of a citizen of the other kingdom, and the PhD stands for Posthole Digger, for we will continue to dig for a proper foundation for the prodigal son and daughter. Br'er Caleb, PhD, is no stranger to finding balance in the face of pressure. As a public speaker, content creator, a former student of criminal law, he speaks openly about the real forces of social comparison. The pressure to be perfect stems from a societal belief that perfection is the only way to be good enough, says Br'er Caleb. I tried to attain these unrealistic standards of smarts, get straight as in school, become a star athlete in volleyball, and constantly seem happy. I realized that I was so consumed with portraying a perfect semblance and that I lost sight of what it meant to be me, he says. When I finally realized I was living for likes and validation from others, I yearned for a way to get back to being real and no longer a prodigal son. I wrote about this discovery in Deception Protocol, The Prodigal Son Blueprint. Deception Protocol, The Prodigal Son Blueprint. Did Trump kill JFK? No, but he sure killed the American dream for many.